Good morning everybody. This is Long Liver. Real quick I want to show you uh, where I'm at this morning. Oh. Let me tell you it is a absolutely gorgeous morning. It is right around 55 degrees. Um, I've been up in the tree stand since uh, about 4.45, 5 o'clock this morning. Haven't seen anything, heard a, a huff way, way far away. But uh, it's actually time for me to get out and go to uh, head to school. Uh, it's getting about that time, but I wanted to do a real quick video on my new gadget that I just got. is the Game Innovations uh, Halo R400. Uh, this is actually the first rangefinder I've ever had. Um, been bow hunting for I don't know, probably 10, 11 years. Hunted a year or two before that, before I got into bow hunting. Never owned one, always did it just by eye. Um, but I decided I wanted one. Uh, this was actually on sale at uh, Dunham Sports. It was $89.99 with a $20 mail-in rebate, so basically a rangefinder for $80. Uh, originally $130, I want to say. Um, the first one I got, I put the battery in it, made some weird noises, started to make uh, some crackling noises, wouldn't turn on, and so I had to return it. This is the second one I got. So I'm going to do a real quick uh, review on it, just my first impressions. Um, for specs for it, it is four inches long by about two and a half, three inches wide, or uh, length, width, height, height, whatever, and then about an inch, uh, inch or so wide. Uh, weighs 8.8 .8 ounces, so a little bit over half a pound. Um, it's got a soft gel cup. That's real nice. Um, it is adjustable for different distances, so you can uh, get it nice and clear. It is a six times zoom. Uh, I really like that. Uh, you can definitely zoom in. It helps uh, without having to break out your binoculars or whatever. Uh, for close distances, it's not too bad for target acquisition. I haven't had too much of problems with it. It's got two modes. It's got a single mode to where you just point and click and it gives you the range and it's got a scan mode which you don't have to hit the button every time. It just keeps up with whatever you point it at. Um, it also does yards and meters uh, for myself. I do uh, all yards. Uh, I don't do the metric system. Uh, one thing I do not like about it though is the instructions that came with it, all it said was basically you just had to press the button, press it again and it works. To get it to turn on you really gotta mash the buttons. Um, they're not too uh, user friendly. Once you get it going though, uh, once you get it turned on and get that first range in, then it's just a single click, just real soft and you've got your range. Uh, same thing with the mode, all it says is just to hit the mode button once and it changes between meters and yards, but you gotta crank on the mode button for a minute, for a couple of seconds. It'll take away the reticle and the yardage, and then you hit it again and it switches in between. It takes a CR2 battery. Uh, Walmart has them two for 10. I bought uh, rechargeable ones with a, re with a charger, two of them for eight bucks. That comes with a charger uh, through eBay. I do a lot of stuff on eBay. It is useful out to 400 yards. Uh, for Iowa, that's perfect for me, especially with bow hunting. I'm not shooting a deer at 400 yards with my bow. That would be a little bit too, uh, too much skill that I don't have. What else do I want to say about this thing? Uh, it comes with a uh, carrying case, cleaning cloth, a little lanyard that comes with it. Um, if you don't have a lot of money or uh, you just don't uh, need like a thousand yard rangefinder. 
This is perfect, like I said, I got this for 70 bucks. Usually they're about 90 to 120. So they're on the cheaper side. Um, if you need something that goes farther than 400 yards or you have the money, get a better one. Um, there's no reason for anybody that has the money to get something this cheap. But it works for me and uh, works for what I need to. So uh, it's time for me to go. Everybody, you guys have a great day and uh, hopefully I'll be doing squirrel. Hopefully I'll be doing more uh, more videos up here from the tree stand, just uh, some fun ones. Who knows, maybe I'll uh, get a deer someday. But uh, have a great day and uh, keep it easy.